Hello and welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. I'm really excited today for the unboxing I'm going to do. Um, it's two paintings in here, but I'm going to um, do two separate videos. But I just want to open the box um, on camera because the box is kind of beat up. It's from a new to me company that's called Touch the Soul Arts. Um, I was invited to a Facebook group um, that's called Touch the Soul Arts. And they sell diamond paintings. Um, they have um, licensed paintings. Um, the ones I ordered is from um, Raven, Ra Reagan Kubacek. And the other lady is Shay, I think it's Shay J. Reed, I believe. Hopefully it'll be on the paintings. But I really wanted to show you how it highly came. Um, the shipping was pretty fast. Um, but the box is so tore up. So I'm just praying that everything inside of it is A-OK. -okay. Um, I think I'm, I guess I'm going to try to go into it from the tore up end. See, it's just pretty, it's pretty banged up. So I'm afraid the canvases are going to be, yep, they're smashed. I can see them, but it's okay. The end was sort of smashed. I'm sure I can make it work. Oops. I'm going to tell you every video. I know, I'm not going to tell you. I gotta order three paints in this order. Y'all, I can't be remember what I be ordering. Is that not beautiful? I'm trying to see something else in here. See, it's a piece of foam. Yeah, it's a piece of foam. They probably, I'm gonna show y'all this. It's a piece of foam in here. And I bet if they would've put that on both ends, it really would've helped. But neither here nor there. Let's get that one out the way. Um, I don't know which one to do first. Let's do, we're going to do the one I was initially going to do first. So this one. Get into it. Now, I'm showing my age. But I am 46. And as a child, I always loved the Care Bears. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. So it has a paper inventory sheet. Like I said, I don't know what comes with the canvases. This is my first time ordering from this company. Um, I don't know what comes in clothes. I got everything in square. Oh man, that's pretty big. Well, I'm probably, I probably need to change the orientation of the video um, just to get the whole thing in frame. Okay. I'm gonna um, pause the video real quick, change my orientation, and then we'll move forward. Okay guys, I'm back. I have changed the orientation um, of the video so we can see better. So the name of our painting is My Lucky Day. Um, it is listed at the bottom of the canvas. I'm gonna kinda zoom in so you all can see better. So we have My Lucky Day, and it's art by Reagan Kubitschek. Uh, Kubitschek. That's what I'm gonna say, Reagan Kubitschek. It is a 65 by 95 centimeter. I did not realize it was this big. My mama sugar lady told me it was 70 by 70, but I am going to um, 
I'm gonna go look back at the messages. I'm just curious. I don't mind. It's beautiful. Like I said, the bigger the image, the more detail you get. Um, I figured it would be smaller though, just because it's just a picture of a big bear. But it's no worries. This painting has 58 colors, and it gives you um, three ABs, as you can see right there. Um, so they give you what's called an inventory sheet, and then you also get a sticker sheet that gives you a nice image of the painting. And then I had square plus ABs, and it's a 65 by 95 centimeter. Let's kind of look at um, the canvas. I guess I'm kind of jumping all around. Let me finish up with the sticker sheet. Let's see, are these removable? They are removable stickers, so I don't have to cut them or anything. And you will have to cut out the picture though if you want to add that to your logbook. Just taking a deep dive into the canvas. I do still want to kind of zoom in. Um, on the bottom of the canvas, it says Touch the Soul Arts. My Lucky Day by Reagan Kubitschek. It also has a little thumbnail of the art and it shows the size. If you look at the back of the canvas, it is a soft lint canvas. Again, reminds me of Craftably or um, it's another company that has a canvas like this. It reminds me of Craftably. It's a soft lint canvas. It does have scalloped edges and some type of surging to prevent fraying. It is poured glue. See me, it's poured glue and it is very sticky. It has a um, the plastic cover is thin, um, probably about the thickness of DAC, I would say. I can't get the bubbles out. Just zoom out just a little bit. So y'all can see what my tail is trying to do. Okay, so it did get a little bit wrinkled. Um, in shipping, if you look on the back of it, you can kind of see kind of the wrinkles. Um, this was not the worst damaged one, so we we'll have to see how the other ones are going to turn out. I do like the, the fact that the shipping was pretty fast. Um, it also comes with a tool kit, which means it's a pretty nice tool kit. You have everything that you need to diamond paint. Um, you get a white boat, a just a clear plastic pen with a purple squishy. I don't know why I even try to put these on every time, but I do. It's like I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, it comes with fat placers, probably a seven and a three. Real pretty purple tweezers. These are real pretty. I love. And boy, are they sharp. A bag of baggies. Is this just a few? It's not a lot in there. Maybe it looks like about five. Or feels like about five. And then you get three plates of wax. And it's pretty good opaque wax, so it's probably decent wax. Oops, let's just stick them all this in here. I love um, finding new companies and I just love Care Bears and Reagan's art is just so freaking cute. So also just still looking at the canvas, it has a legend on your top left and the bottom right, which I always say I do love that about canvases so I can see the legend um, as I'm coming down, as I'm painting. And it also has their details. It does list a website on here, but right now I don't think it's quite up to par for ordering. Um, you have to order, you message her through Facebook and show her the paintings that you want. 
So let's look at these beautiful drills. Let's see, it's labeled F3080, and that is also on the canvas. That way you will know what drills belong to which kit if you store them separately. Um, I also wanted to show symbol clarity. It has very good symbol clarity. Even the white symbols are, are clear, so that is a great thing. Y'all, I just love this painting. It's just so cute. They have so many Care Bears to choose from, y'all. I want, um, I ordered another one already. Um, and then I ordered, um, another from Shay J. I think it's Shay J. Reed. I'm probably saying her name wrong, but I'll show you all when I show the canvas in the next video. But it's just so cute. It's so fun and and happy. You got the little stars and the balloons and the hearts and the, the star shine. Because that's what that is to me. Instead of sunshine, it's like star shine. I just love it. And y'all know I love green. So this bear was right up my alley. A couple more care bears that I, I want that I'm gonna get um, whenever they have a sale. Again, they had a really good 33% off sale um, last weekend that I took advantage of, and I got the the other two two more paintings. Okay, so let's go through these drills. It is again 58 drills. These are not labeled by DMC. They are labeled by number, so I find that interesting. So I don't even, I'm not even, it's no point. I'm just going to kind of show you what to show you the colors. And so you can see the, the drills. Let's kind of look at the drills. They seem pretty flat. I don't see any too many knobbly bits. Ooh, what was that? That was from something else, I guess. Hope nothing's busted. Ooh, like black may be open. I can tell these are going to be a booger to get back in there. Okay, I feel like the black is open, or one of them is open. Looks like they do a lot, a lot of outlining. Yeah, look at that in black, which is going to be so cute when it's done. So you get two bags of black. I don't know if it's really a point in me showing these. I can't even tell y'all the DMC. I don't think I want to show them all. There's no point. We're just going to, but I do want to kind of look at the quality of the black drills. Let's see, let's get that. That just gave me a, a little white tray. So let's take a little peek. And they and I did email and ask. Um, they are resin drills. Let's pour some out. Give them a shaky shake. Let's see what they look like. Okay, I see. They look pretty good to me. I see a little knobbly bit on that one. And that one looks like maybe it's concave. And that one is, this big fat one is misshapen. But let's kind of let you see the drill quality. Get these back in here and then kind of try to show y'all again. Just show the whole little color pattern at this point because I just don't see. Almost 
quite a few black ones. They're just loose everywhere. We'll just um, look for the ABs. I think they're on the end. I really do want you all to get a really good look at the colors. I mean, just gorgeous colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those greens. Look at the blues. I so said, I'm not going to know the quality of the drills until I work on a kit, so I need to try to get one of these worked on just so I can let you all know um, before you order. So we have three ABs. AB 210, which is purple. Um, symbol is a very, it's like two lines with a line down the middle. Yeah. I can just say Holy confetti. I don't know how I'm going to find it. Because <laughs> this is a little bit of print. I'll tell y'all that. Okay, I can kind of see it up in here in the balloon. Can y'all see that? Let me see. I probably need to take push it over to take some of the glare out. And then pull it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. So all up around up in here in this balloon area up in here it's really in a lot of the places on the canvas where you actually do see where it looks kind of purpley like up in here um here nope a little bit up in here yeah, can y'all see that? Yeah. It's down up in here. It's pretty much anywhere you see a little purple. That's a, that's a pretty big bag of 58, which is 818. Which is weird because I, I would always thought that 818 is more pink. I want to check that out. I don't know if that is the right color. This to me looks more blush. It's pink, but I may be wrong. And the symbol is what I call the man sitting on the toilet. And it's all up in here. Just this whole, I mean, this whole big swath is this. It's all under here. Um, is it any in the bear? Yep, it's in the bear's belly. Um... Uh, so a little bit down here. And then the last one, this is real pretty mint green. I really like this one. Hopefully it's going to be in the bear some kind of way. I'm not sure though. Let's see this. It's like two arrows facing up, kind of. Hmm. I'm not seeing it yet. I figured it would be in the bear, but I don't see it anywhere. Unless it's... Let's see, I'm going to pick this one up. This... See this green. I'll take my glasses off. 
glasses off and see if that'll help me any. But I'm not seeing. I think I'm. It has to be somewhere. Mom was supposed to about ready to pause it and look and come back. Because this is pitiful. Oh, is this Okay, it's in the sky up here. I thought it would be in the bear. No wonder why I couldn't find it. Okay. So, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to pull on y'all. Make sure things okay. Is this right here? Y'all see that? And so I have this symbol up in here. And it's pretty much all around the heart. Okay, just flip it down some. It's pretty much, you know, around the heart. I just really thought it would be in the in the bear, but it's not. I may add my own ABs. I think it may be cool to maybe bling out some of the four-leaf clover in it on his tummy or maybe do something with his little cute little nose. I'll figure it out. Um, I hope everyone is having a great day today. I really would like to thank everyone um, for watching my videos. I'm having a great time. Um, I'm going to link... If it allows me to link the Facebook group, I will um, in the description box below. Um, I definitely can probably link the post um, where I um, found my lucky day um, so you can see it. Um, thank you all so much um, for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope everyone has a great day. Hello, and welcome to part two of my Touch the Soul Arts unboxing. Um, this painting, um, got pretty smashed. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, it has 60 colors. So you can just kind of see what we're working with. It is an Alice in Wonderland theme painting. I love Alice in Wonderland themed paintings. Okay, so we kind of, you see where it got really, really badly smashed. And the canvas is pretty smashed, pretty banged up. She's pretty beat up, but that's okay. I am probably not going to. Um, I think something got on my canvas. I'm one of them dear people. I don't like cruddy stuff on my canvases, so I'm gonna have to try to see if I can clean it off. Um, yeah, this one is pretty. They got pretty damaged in the box, but it shouldn't affect the diamond painting at all. I'm, I'm going to, I think, leave it out under a whole bunch of completed paintings to kind of help smash it down. But she is cute. She is so cute. dim in here we can't see good then at the same time I don't need any extra glare so this is called Wonderland hair I did not know the name of it you don't really see the names this on um, paint is called Wonderland hair um, it's the art of Shay J Reed it is listed on the canvas it is 75 by 95 centimeters 
I knew I knew the size of this one. This is a, um, the, the, about the size she told me. Um, again, the canvas is um, has a soft lint backing. It, it it has some type of surging and has scalloped edges to prevent fraying. It is um, definitely poured glue. It is very sticky. It's, I think it's just beautiful. I cannot wait to work on this. All the pretty colors. Wonderland hair. Yeah, so I see now that it's just spools and spools of her hair all up in here. So pretty. So this kit also comes with a sticker sheet. Touch the Soul Arts. It's a square plus a B, and it has sixty colors. And they use um numbers, letters, and symbols um in their paintings. So I just want to try to go over some of the details in the painting. Um, we have a rabbit right here, and all of these things are pulled in rainbow colored coils of her hair. I see that now all this stuff is just stuck in her hair. Like right here is a fork with some food on it that's stuck in her hair. Up here um, is a cupcake and a hat. It was like another cupcake. And the Cheshire, the Cheshire cat. And it's saying this way and that way. And let me see what else is stuck in her hair. She has a little house right here and a spoon. This paint so big, I can't even reach everything, y'all, in a spoon. And then it's a little bottle right here that says, drink me. I don't know how good that's going to come out, though, in the painting. It doesn't look like it looks well, but it's supposed to say, drink me, by looking at the picture. She has on a cute little black and white little dress. To me, it reminds me of like, more like a maid's uniform. But And she has on some real cute little shoes with little bows on them. I don't know how good that's going to turn out either. But again, I need to walk on them to see, um, see how they turn out. She has another one that's like this. That is the Wizard of Oz. And I have that one coming next with another Care Bear. Um, I just love her eyes. I think they're so strange looking. She has one blue eye and one kind of pinkish eye. And this one's really big. She has a little headband. This is very interesting. This and look at the drills, guys. So pretty. If you love the rainbow colors, this is going to be the painting for you. Looks like it does come with three bags of 310, though, which I'm fine with. Okay, guys, so this is the second unboxing from Touch the Soul Arts. This is called Wonderland Hair. And if these are not too long, I may just stick them all in one video. So you may see all this in one video, possibly. But I'm not sure. Depends on how long each one of them is. I'm really excited about this paint. I love paints with lots of intricate details. And this has lots of intricate details. I'm just not sure how it's going to um, render and turn out. So I really do... I slick need to work on this so I can see, so I can let, let people know. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to let this flatten out and try to work on her um, definitely this year. Um, again, I'm so sorry. I get so 
my mind just wanders in a hundred different directions. Um, again, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, this is my third unboxing from my Touch to Soul Arts order, a new to me diamond painting company. Um, this last painting is from um, Ray. Um, again, another one from Reagan Kubitschek. It is called Lily. She is a little bit risque. Just a little bit, a little bit risque. Um, but I thought she was so pretty. She came in okay. She's not that damaged like the other one. I think because the other one was so long that it just could not miss the damage from the end of the box. This is called Lilith. Again, it is art by Ray, Ray, uh, Reagan Kubitschek is licensed. Um, it has 47 colors. This is the color, I mean, this is the image on the inventory sheet. Very pretty. It's pretty much a, look like a naked woman sitting up in a tree with snakes around her. It reminded me of Adam and Eve, except there's no apple in the picture. They should have stuck, stuck one apple on the tree or something. It would have been cool. Um, this is the sticker sheet. This painting is 65 by 85 centimeter. It is square drills um, with ABs. Again, 47 colors. And other 47 colors, two of them are ABs. I just realized I was painting. I didn't even show the ABs. Well, y'all know what? I struggle so much. I'm them in a little bear. I'm like, what's the point? But I should have shown them. So, again, um, their canvases have a soft lint backing. Reminds me of Craftably. Um, it is um, surged and scalloped. It has some type of surging and scalloped edges. Um... It was super sticky for whatever reason to me the plastic on this stuff seems hard very very hard to pull back it's weird but it does um, if we look at symbol clarity as i'm looking without my glasses pretty clear symbols even the white ones they're little though but they are clear I always use a light pad when I diamond paint. She is a beauty. She has on her little jewelry, which looks like has some of the ABs in it. That real bright red is AB. It's a 666 AB. So that's really pretty. And a lot of the AB is also going to be in all the leaves. All these little orange spots y'all see. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. The little orange spots you see right here is all... A, B, that's in the snake and in the leaves. So that's really kind of cool. She is so pretty. Okay, so let us look at the drills. Again, we get looks like three pretty big bags of 310. Along with the other pretty colors. Lots of browns, green, dark greens, dark blues, more brown, a little yellow. And then the AB is back on the end. That's really pretty. Yeah, I know I love greens. I don't care if they're dark greens or light greens. I love the color green. So I am so excited. Again, to just kind of look at the AB placement. Um... Anywhere you see, like, it's these little red marks, this little bit. So it's all splotched. Pretty much it's in the leaves, in the snake, the um, even the leaves in her hair, and then in the jewelry on her body. So that is going to be beautiful. 
I do think I'm going to make this all into one video. So I almost want to pull out the other canvas back and show where the AVs go. But I think I'm going to struggle too much on it. I'm not going to worry about it. If someone wants to see where the ABs are, just let me know. And now when I do a whipping chat or an update, I'll stick it in there. So I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss that part of it. So this is the last canvas in the in the Touch to Soul Arts order. I'm going to start working on one of them. I'm probably going to work on it simultaneously um, with another canvas. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's so big, though. Either the Kerber or that big one. Both of them are pretty big. This is a, one of the, this one is the smallest one of them all, which surprises me. I thought the Kerber would have been probably a little bit smaller than this one. That's is, that's what I really thought, but no, I got tricked. And it's because on the Facebook page, you know, the sizes are not listed, the prices are not listed. So I really can't wait till their website gets up so you, you can get more definite. Um, answers of, you know, how much something costs, how much, what's the size, because none of that's listed. And I would even think, even on a Facebook page, you should be able to list, I mean, you know, under, like, in the description of the picture, you should just list the size and the cost, but they don't do that. So, alrighty, okay, last time. <laughs> Thank you all for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone is having a great day today. Um, again, I'm going to put this, um, company in the description box. So if you want to locate these paintings, you can, I will try to link any of them that I can, that it will allow me to. Um, thank you all again. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.